Well, good morning, everybody. It's February, uh, the month of love. I was making some plans this week for Valentine's Day, and the place was advertising it, and I was Valentine's Week. Did you know it's a whole week now? Uh, some places I've seen Valentine's Month, and the pressure is just going up. Uh, I want to introduce you to a couple of guys, a couple of followers of Jesus who are local movie makers, and the way they approach their craft I find intriguing, and before I introduce you to them, would you please watch the screens? Well, that was the trailer for a new movie called Courageous Love that comes out this week, and uh, the film's director uh, is with us today. Daniel Knutson is part of the War Church family, and the lead actor, Jared Withrow, is with us as well. Would you welcome these guys? So uh, I told our production team that you guys would be here and that I, that I wanted to interview you. So I said, I need some chairs up front. I want to interview you, you know, like, like an interview, like a TV show. And this is the set they came up with. <laughs> Talk about over and above. I was thinking a couple stools or something, but, um, but welcome to the show. Uh, that, uh, uh, in, in the trailer, there, you notice the banquet scene in there looked, may have looked familiar to some of you. Uh, tell us where you shot that scene. Yes, that is right over there in Knox Hall. So we are very grateful to be able to film part of the movie right here at Ward Church. And uh, there's even some more of Ward Church you may not recognize, but if you've ever wanted to see the Ward Church kitchen but can't get past the kitchen staff, you can uh, come see the movie and uh, see the kitchen on the big screen. Even I don't have a key for the kitchen. <laughs> so. Church kitchens are very controversial. Uh, so. This movie is set in the state of New York, but all of the scenes were filmed locally here in the Detroit area. I find that fascinating. Uh, we live in Detroit where we make cars, but you guys make movies. Why? We make movies uh, because we are trying to be an influence and breathe the life of Jesus Christ into our culture. Uh, we think of Jesus telling stories. Thanks. Uh, we, we think of Jesus telling stories, and he used stories to communicate spiritual truth uh, to the, an audience, and uh, films today can do the same thing. Yeah, so you make family-friendly films that have redemptive themes, and Jesus is very present, but not, uh, not in an overbearing way. Just the truth comes out. Yes, that, that is the goal. Uh, you know, sometimes people, we're trying to guide truth around people's mental roadblocks, uh, hopefully in such a way that reaches them and, and opens them towards the gospel. Jared, you played the lead role in Courageous Love. Tell us about your character. Yeah, so Alex Shelby, I mean, he inherits his family's company at a young age. He feels very inexperienced and unqualified to, to be a leader. And through a series of circumstances, he actually goes undercover within the company at a city uh, branch. And he ends up falling in love with one of the employees named Michelle. And she's being falsely accused of sabotaging the company. But he believes in her and he protects her even at the risk of losing everything. The Apostle Paul says, love always protects, always hopes, always perseveres. That's courageous love. And do I understand that the script consultant for Will Smith work with you on this film? Yeah, yeah, he did. His name's Stanley Williams. He actually lives in the area, so he was able to uh, lend some of his experience, and, you know, hopefully that'll just make it that much better. So if the Apostle Paul and Will Smith collaborated on a script, <laughs> this would be it. Hopefully. Right? Pretty much, <laughs> maybe. Yeah. I think there's a fair amount of uh, irony, and maybe that's the wrong word, that, that your movie is being released on the very same day that Hollywood is releasing... Uh, Fifty Shades Darker, the sequel to Fifty Shades of Grey, and I know that irony is not lost on you. How does, how does the picture of love portrayed in movies like that contrast the gospel? Well, I see something like Fifty Shades of Grey, Fifty Shades Darker. Our culture is doing their very best to tell a love story. Uh, and in a certain respect, there's a draw uh, with uh, the idea of a character who's very rich and very powerful, and he's head over heels uh, for, someone, uh, for someone else uh, of, of who is weaker and who does not uh, have that, that, that wealth and that power. And that 
element of that draw is actually something that is uh, shared with the story of the gospel. Here we have the God of all creation, the all-powerful uh, creator of the universe who is pursuing each and every one of us. But uh, the gospel takes a very, very different path than Fifty Shades Darker. And uh, the light of the gospel, you see, rather than uh, the powerful one shaming and taking advantage of the weaker one, here uh, in the story of Jesus, we see the most powerful. He was uh, shamed and, and he was abused so that we could have a relationship with him. Uh, and that uh, contrast, it's the difference between selfish love and courageous love. It's just reversed, it's upside down. Yes. Because the gospel is a love story. Yes, it's just a good one. It's so. a good one. <laughs> it's a good one, happy ending. <laughs> well, Courageous Love is in select theaters. I know in Novi and Canton this Wednesday night, it will be available on DVD on Valentine's Day, from CourageousLoveMovie.com, CourageousLoveMovie.com, and it'll, it'll be released this week as a Pure Flix original movie. Remind everybody what Pure Flix is. Yes, uh, the company that put out the God's Not Dead movies has a streaming platform. It's much like Netflix, it's just PureFlix.com. You can uh, subscribe and they do uh, a couple of original movies a year, and Courageous Love, that was done right here at Ward, is uh, their next original movie. And last question for today, uh, who are you rooting for in today's game? <laughs> oh boy. Well, I am rooting for the Patriots, and I, I didn't get one little silence. silence so <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you all believe in forgiveness, but... Uh, <laughs> um. I, I'll be rooting for whoever the underdog is. I like the underdogs, so... <laughs> I think that's Atl Atlanta's the underdog, right? So you're... You took each, each one very, very good. I always wait to cast my uh, vote till the game has, is over. <laughs> and uh, my team always wins. And, uh, but, uh, <laughs> uh, thank you both for your commitment to making good and thought-provoking movies. Uh, we cheer you on. God has gifted you both enormously. This is a fantastic movie, and we wish you all of God's best.